for being in the parade. Okay, we are checking out some vintage trailers on the outskirts of town. And uh, I don't know what that says, trailer, I guess. So this one obviously had its heyday in 1976. And it's not bad inside. Uh, kind of a neat, I don't know what kind it is. But uh, we can get a pretty good shot inside when we put the video camera up here like this. And you can see pretty good in there. Not bad at all. So, we don't know the length of it, but this is like a medium, a small to medium. And uh, pretty neat looking. And uh, for a tiny one, <clears throat> well, you could, you could pull this with anything. I think you might be able to pull this with a six cylinder. So, Scott something or other. You see any words on these? Uh, this is a tiny little one. And uh, just basic, just real basic. There it is. Yeah. For, for a small play, uh, trailer, it's just real basic. You could tow it just about anything. Scott Scotsman, I guess. Scotsman. Scotsman. Gard uh, Gardena, California, I guess. There we go. And then this one, I didn't think was any big deal. It's like a medium size, but when you look at it, it's really nice. And it's almost like there's another room back there. And they maybe there's a small bedroom back there. Oh, my video just quit, so we'll just continue right where we left off. There's a bathroom back there and a bedroom. And uh, pretty neat. Medium sized. All these have been just pummeled by hail. But they have doors and windows and they lock. Kind of a bonus, kind of a good start. So no markings on that one at all. Now this one we are intrigued on. And uh, we, we think we're going to make an offer on it, possibly. So, kind of a neat looking one. And uh, we like the style, and it's a little bigger. So, I think the Merc could pull this. I guess we'll have to find out and look into the specs, but I think the Mercury could pull this. Lucy and Ricky did it. It has glass doors, like French doors. What oh, is no, that? that's a mirror. That's, that's a some mirror. kind of a heater over there, huh? Huh. Super cool. Would this be your first choice? Yes. And then My we'd... second would be the small one. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll just uh, have to call our friends and find out how you start working on one of these things. Start just tearing everything up and making it solid again. And then we're going to uh, see if we can't put one behind the Mercury. I guess the Mercury's back there. There it is. Hiding over there. Yep. All right. That's our little trailer expedition. Thanks, JJ. You bet. All right. Are you ready for the car show next weekend? No. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of work, huh? Yeah. A lot of work. Okay. Signing off on our trailer expedition. And uh, we are on the last day of our leg from Chicago to Denver with a 1960 Mercury. Okay, well here we are in Goodland and uh, it's a sleepy town this morning. Spent a lot of time in Goodland the last few years. They have a great car show coming up with the Bricktop Cruisers. It's gonna be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This place is gonna be all shut down on next Saturday, a week from tomorrow. All hot rods and uh, no late models allowed. And we're just taking a nice walk. Just a beautiful morning. Uh, bone chilling. Bone chilling? Cold. It's a little chilly. It's a little overcast. We had to clean the car off. 
use some towels. I'm glad it bug strewn. Look. Yeah, oh that's right, it was. That is some bugs, right? <laughs> Whose car would look like that? I can't have that many bugs on their car. Ever. <laughs> Wait, what do you say? <laughs> but all started with uh, our trip at 4th of July. To yeah, Sterling. Sterling, right. And we started collecting bugs and never looked back. My car used to be clean. Used to be. Sleepy little town here in Goodland. All right, we're in uh, we're in Goodland, Kansas here. Yep. And uh, we do need a windshield, so we might be asking these guys for a quote on the windshield, but uh, just so we kind of know what's going on. But in the meantime, there's a giant car show coming up here next weekend. A week from today, this place is going to be packed with people coming into town from all over the country, and they're just getting the sign put up right now for the big car show. And this is where my band played the last two years, right in front of this school right here. Played right out here. And then we uh, did the shop party for the last two years in a row. And uh, boy, the city's moved in and they're helping out with a lot. And uh, this place is gonna be hopping a week from today. Flatlanders Car Show with the Bricktop Cruisers in Goodland, Kansas. If you get any opportunity to come out here in late September. I think it's usually the last weekend in September. Now here's where the shop party is going to be. Great time. Oh, I guess she's mad at me. Flippity flu, what are you doing? I was going behind you and why you were taking up the whole road. Well, here's a bunch of Mercury's. So we're driving to Mercury's, so we might as well look at all these Mercury's. And right there is a little 62. It looks a lot like the one we're driving. But there's lots of different makes and models in here and uh, lots of Mercury's and lots of other cars, but mainly Mercury's. And this place will be hopping a week from today. Big party, lots of drinking, lots of cruising, and God bless America. Okay, there we go. This is a little thrift shop in uh, Goodland, Kansas, and they have great prices on everything. So really do. We've got a whole pile of stuff we're gonna get right here. There's like some boots and belts and some uh, pants. And, uh... Here's JJ, and uh, this is the club that is sponsoring the car show next weekend. Until about midnight last night. How you feeling today? Okay. Feeling good. I made it to work at uh, four thirty this morning. I, however, did not. I did not make it to work at four thirty this morning. And uh, yeah, so right out here, right out the window, is a good old Mercury. Some people have stopped to say hi and said they saw a new car in town and want to know about it. One guy had a '61 Lincoln, so he asked about it. It's really nice to share the car with uh, different people in different towns. So here we are, a good one. On our way home tomorrow, we got a show tomorrow morning uh, for the town of Hudson, and uh, my June Carter will be on the base with us tomorrow. So we're looking forward to that. It's always nice to have her on stage with us. All right. Okay, we're in Goodland. Uh, we're going to be heading out tonight after we have a nice dinner with our friends. And this is where the big shop party is gonna be next week on Friday night for the Flatlanders car show with the Bricktop Cruisers. Thought this was cool cause uh, Matt's got a Mercury in here. A little reminiscent of our 60. And uh, of course 62 had a lot of style. A lot of style in 62. Definitely really nice tail lights. Now these are the ones that I just found on eBay. Remember that I just yeah. found? They were like 40 bucks for a pair of those things. So I don't even have the car, but I'm gonna buy them. Just because, boy, when you need those, good luck, so. He got this car for almost nothing, he was telling me. What a great story. I think it was nothing, actually. Yeah, I think so too. So good when you can do that. <clears throat> it's fun to do that. And uh, some of these Mercury's look like just just like you could drive them away. 
course, that one's a planter. Give you some ideas for your front yard. We could do that with your front yard. Yeah, we could. It's a uh, uh, has attic in front of it. Oh, filled, yeah. Filled with flowers. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. And my front yard is beads and rocks. So, mostly weeds right now. Looks like what's left of a 59 flat top Cadillac. Oh, everybody would like to have this. Looks like a looks like a 57 Lincoln, I'm thinking. Right there. 59 Ford. Not too unusual. Oldsmobile. 55. Another Merc. A beat to hell camper. This is gonna be a good hot rod for somebody. 40 something like that another 59 <clears throat> two door oh 60 two door hardtop wow i remember this last year did you get updated on your tetanus shot oh no you're good i'm just i'm not yeah i had it last year apparently gotta be careful in here oh that's like the truck you're gonna get huh pretty close yeah Another Merc, another Merc. Oh, and all the little Model A's or T's lined up. 55 Oldsmobile again. Great looking Dodge hood. All lined up here in Goodland. With the 55 Pontiac just waiting for you. So if you uh, want to make an offer on any of these cars, good luck. But holler at us. Maybe we can talk him out of one of them. Send it home with you. All right, signing off from Goodland, Kansas. Heck yeah. God bless America. Oh. Not ready? No, I guess I'm not. Wow. I'm trying to find glasses that like work. Wow. <laughs> June Carter likes the boat. I <laughs> Welcome to our rockabilly world. Had that in there, and he said, "I gotta sell this antique boat." I said, "I probably can't afford it, but what do you want for it?" I didn't figure it could be bought for under a thousand bucks. I'll just take seven hundred dollars for it. Sold, I said. I come home, I told Kim, I said, "You're not gonna believe what I done tonight. I bought a boat." <laughs> <laughs> you what? Yeah. I said, it's just like the one on Golden Pond is what it reminded me of when I seen it. Yeah. Like, I gotta have it. I gotta have that it. That is beautiful. Well, that's how dreams happen. I grew up on the water. Okay, we're in Goodland. Uh, we're going to be heading out tonight after we have a nice dinner with our friends. And this is where the big shop party is going to be next week on Friday night for the Flatlanders car show with the Bricktop Cruisers. Thought this was cool because uh, Matt's got a Mercury in here. A little reminiscent of our 60. And uh, of course, 62 had a lot of style. A lot of style in 62. Definitely really nice taillights. Now, these are the ones that I just found on eBay. Remember that I just yeah. found? They were like 40 bucks for a pair of those things. So I don't even have the car, but I'm going to buy them. Just because, boy, when you need those, Good luck, so. He got this car for almost nothing, he was telling me. What a great story. I think it was nothing, actually. Yeah, I think so, too. So, good when you can do that. <clears throat> it's fun to do that. And uh, some of these Mercuries look like just, just like you could drive them away. 
course, that one's a planter. Give you some ideas for your front yard. We could do that with your front yard. Yeah, we could. It's a uh, uh, has that in front of it. Oh, filled, yeah. Filled with flowers. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And my front yard is weeds and rocks. So, mostly weeds right now. Looks like what's left of a 59 flat top Cadillac. Oh, everybody would like to have this. Looks like a looks like a 57 Lincoln, I'm thinking. Right there. 59 Ford. Not too unusual. Oldsmobile. 55. Another Merc. A beat to hell camper. This is gonna be a good hot rod for somebody. 40 something like that another 59 <clears throat> two door oh 60 two door hardtop wow i remember this last year did you get updated on your tetanus shot oh no you're good i'm just i'm not yeah i had it last year apparently gotta be careful in here oh that's like the truck you're gonna get huh pretty close yeah Another Merc, another Merc. Oh, and all the little Model A's or T's lined up. 55 Oldsmobile again. Great looking Dodge hood. All lined up here in Goodland. With the 55 Pontiac just waiting for you. So if you uh, want to make an offer on any of these cars, good luck. But holler at us. Maybe we can talk him out of one of them. Send it home with you. All right, signing off from Goodland, Kansas. Heck yeah. God bless America.